showing you a crazy math trick that literally even grown-ups may not know about. So, uh, watch this video to the end, because this is crazy. Okay, so I might flip the camera. Oh, for some reason the camera is sort of bad right now. Uh, wait. Ah! Here we go. Gammy, can you go in the other room? Okay, so... One sec. I'm gonna close the door. So, I am going to show you the most crazy math trick you have ever seen. So, uh, let me just put a random multiplication problem on this paper. Uh, let's put this. So, you see this, right? It may seem a, is it backward? I don't know if it's backward for you. It, but it says 11 times 27, right? Well, it's actually not that difficult. There's actually a way to do this. And it's pretty simple. So, if you ever get an 11 times problem, just take this number and this number. And pretty much, uh, you're going to put the first number in the hundreds place. So, that for me is a 20. So, put the 2 in the hundreds place and the 7 in the ones place. So, now that you have your two numbers, you actually have to add 7 plus 2 together. So, 7 plus 2 is 9, right? So... Uh, 9 is going to be your middle number, and boom, you will have your answer, 297, 11 times 27. You can show your friends this on online class, and it's going to blow their mind on how you did that, because <laughs> you can tell them that I taught you, okay? So, if you ever get a problem, maybe for, like, I got a notification for, uh, for live. Uh, no. So, if you ever get something like... 11 times 28 or something, that equals a 10. So you still put the, like, 8 in the 1's place, 2 in the 10's place, blah, blah, blah. So 8 plus 2 is 10. So we can't put a 10. But we can put the 0 in the 10's place and the 1 in the 100's place. So what is 1 plus 2? It's 3. So, and we're making another math problem right here. And then what is uh, 0 plus zero, I guess, it's zero, and then you just put the rest of the numbers under it, and then you get that answer, 308. So that's just a cool math trick uh, that I want to teach you, and this works with any math problem that's times 11, that's in 10. So it's uh, 11 times 10 to 99, you can like have 11 times 99 through well, okay, well, you can have 11 times 10 through 11 times 99. And pretty much what it's going to do is, um, is, uh, now you can, uh, sh show your friends this and they're going to be really amazed. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and, uh.